my grandfather was carpenter, my father was carpenter, and my three brothers are carpenters. Oh, really? oh. <laughs> and my uncle is architect, and my cousin is architect. So we have a family, a really wood head family. And I was born into that family, and, and, and I worked in my childhood with my own hands with this material. And I began to, to like this material then. And I was fascinated. And it is very sympathetic material for, 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 for people. It, it's, it feels warm. Uh, it is, has a beautiful color, a beautiful structure. Uh, it's, 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 these boards are like pictures. Every board is, has another, another uh, physiognomy. And I think this is very near to, our, to, to, to people. Mm -hmm. yeah, there are, there are not only one reason why I do this, uh, why I like this material, but it's an important reason, the importance of, of the questions of, of future, of sustainability, which to question which material we use for our buildings. And therefore, of course, this material wood is produced by the sun mm. with no energy. Yeah, basically like magic, right? You mm. only need uh, some, you, it's like magic, you only need some sun, right? sun some water, and yes, it just yes. happens. And when we have a beautiful <clears throat> material, yeah. and a material who, with, which we can, with what we can do very many things, as mm. we see. And why not use them? I have to, my mission is to bring this material into the society to, 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 to discuss or to show that this material is, had much advantages. I knew it from my childhood. Mm -hmm. And therefore, I am, my whole, the whole life I tried to, to develop new projects, new construction typologies. I was also very interested in construction. Not every architect is con interested in construction, but I am very interested in construction and also in the building process. And this was, the, uh, this was my grandfather and my father who gave me this spirit. From my opinion, there was a bit a problem in the 20s of the last, last, uh, of the last century when modern, architect, modern architecture began, mm -hmm. modernity began, yeah. these uh, big architects, these great architects, uh, they, then they forgot the material. But concrete, steel, and glass were the modern materials, mm -hmm. and they built their really beautiful buildings with these materials, but mm -hmm. nobody uh, took wood for because wood was old-fashioned. For wood, it was a disaster, because development stopped immediately. And wood was old, was forgotten. Yeah. And this caused a stop of development for 40 years, I think. Mm -hmm. And this is, this, this we suffer today. Coming to the age of wood, for example, you could say, Maybe it's, uh, we, we got older as a society or like humans uh, uh, or somehow. So maybe we came out of this teenager years now just to rediscover what the old way was actually going in a really good direction. Yes, it's like <laughs> teenagers, when they are elder, they think back and say, oh, it was not so bad. And this is the situation now. Worldwide, we feel that there is a big demand in society for this material, for the quality of this material, uh, and also for the answer for the question, with what material do we build our future? And therefore, today, the big demand for renewable materials is very high. I feel it. And we are at the beginning. We are at the beginning of a revolution. In towns, this material has been used for long centuries. Then they forgot, as we said, and now it gets back. Why? Uh, it gets back because wood 
with, to, to build with wood, it's possible to build in another way than with materials we, we know. The key word is prefabrication. The key word is build with dry material. The key word is build with light materials. And therefore, in towns, for, it, for, for increasing density, you have always to put some new buildings on the top of old buildings. The weight is decisive for that. And the speed of the building. How, how fast can we do this building? Because buildings cause a lot of noise, a lot of traffic, and the faster you are, the better it is for the surroundings. And therefore, wood will come to, into the towns, I'm convinced. Mm -hmm. But what are your thoughts about uh, engineered wood itself, as we are here in CLT building? Uh, like, is it the new beginning of wood? I think for me, for my, for my interest is more in, 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 the, in, the, in how can wood get into in the big constructions, in the big, in the big buildings, in apartment buildings, in prefabric, prefabricated offices and so on. In my opinion, the, the different materials we have now in, for, for, for constructions are very, very important for the development of wood architecture, architecture worldwide. And I have no preferences in my work. I know the materials and I take these materials where they make the most sense. But with these new products, it's possible to build also very big building. Very, and this is, I think, this is the key for the future. Not only to build single-family houses, it's okay, but the really, the really challenge is how, as you said before, how this material can get into the town, and is used for high buildings, for big buildings. And therefore, you, know, you, you, know, you, you need these engineered products, I am, I am convinced. With these new materials and with these new possibilities of prefabrication, there will be a new, a new, a, a, a new rena renaissance for, for wood. And this is the challenge for us architects, to, to not to lose the position in the in the building in the building society in the in the in in in, in, in the teams who are forced to build some new, new buildings, but we have to to be careful not to lose our key position there, because what happens if we lose the key positions? I think then the architecture quality is not guaranteed. This is our think our benefit in the, our the society as an, as architects that we are the we are the keys for better and better and better architects. But what we have to learn is to collaborate more than we did in 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 in, 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 in the past. To collaborate more with engineers. To collaborate more with builders. Uh, and otherwise we lose our position. And we have to find the language to speak with them. And they have also to find uh, the, the, the language to speak with us. This is the key for the future. Yeah, uh, I think the dialogue between architect and the producer is really important, uh, as you mentioned. And it's coming more and more important when uh, a lot of buildings are, being, uh, uh, are becoming prefab buildings because it's, uh, it's just making more sense as a quality time mm -hmm. and uh, cost efficiency also. Mm -hmm. So what do you think about architects? Uh, how should they get into this prefab uh, world? The producers must understand that their product uh, is, is, will be successful if they combine it with a, good, with a good design. Every product combined with a good design for me, my opinion, is more successful than others. And we have to, bit, to be a bit careful because, because wood is often combined with the buildings of barracks. Mm -hmm. And barracks is a negative, a negative word for me, it was an, is a negative word. The barrack is simple, it's too warm, it's, 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 it's had a bad design and so on. And this we have to overrule, this we have to fight against with our products, also with the prefabrication products. 
we have we we must be aware not to 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 give energy for these arguments. For the future, it's necessary for us architects to go very very deep into the construction, especially in wood in, in wood construction, but to go very very deep in in in, in prefabrication. Otherwise, we we. we we have to understand this. We have to understand this very severely to have the right language to speak with the with, with the builders and the engineers, and this is the key. If we don't, uh, we will lose our lose our position, and world will lose architecture. You know, today today everything everyone uh, thinks about computer, the possibilities of computers. And there are ideas that computers can can, can uh, be the new architect. That there is a program and you put in every demand and then you press the button and then there is architecture. And I think this is the, the totally wrong misunderstanding of the, of the futures, of the future. Now this is the next, the next uh, important important argument for wood that we has to do with the material is, is it's produced by the sun and we need no energy for this material and we, therefore it's for the future it's very important because other materials need a lot of energy for example the cement product production worldwide costs 10% for the CO2 emissions, only the cement production. And there we see what, what, what dimension we are speaking. And wood could be a solution. We have, also we have a lot of, as architects, a lot of design possibilities for our clients. And we can, we can react on the demands of, 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 of the clients. It's also possible if someone doesn't want a wooden facade at outside, but he, he, he wants a wooden construction, it's possible. It's also possible to have wooden facades and maybe a hybrid construction. There are many possibilities we have and, and which make sense. But if we, want, if, if we, have the, if we argue on, 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 on for sustainability, it's necessary that we do also the construction with this uh, with this material wood. It makes no sense only to have the surfaces with wood. This is, has no effect on the on the on the CO2 problematic. And the other thing is to find a planner, to find an architect who is able not only to to make houses that have certain functions but only make houses that had more than function, that had more than, that, that, and this is, this is, this is the, the architecture, the benefit, the more benefit uh, is, 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 is the benefit for the, for the society is, is, is the architecture. Government can't say you have to use wood. This is not, not possible because then concrete and bricks, they will make a revolution. But they can say you have to, sh to, to, to show that you need as less energy as, as, as possible for, for your building. For heating, for, we, are, we are doing it. There are, there, are, there are rules how many we, we, can, we can use but not for the building process. And I think this must be the next step that government says, okay, if you build a house, you are only allowed to, to, to imitate so this amount of CO2. But it's not so complicated. If, like Estonia is a very, has a very, many, very much forests. And it's, it's logic that Government can say, please use our own resources and use these resources first in your own, in your own country and use the res don't burn these resources, but use them in the first phase for buildings. Then this, this CO2, which is store, stored in, the, in, in these wood products, you have them in your buildings 
you plant the second, second forest in your towns, in your villages. And then maybe after 100 or 200 years, it's the question, maybe we, we reuse the material or we can then burn it and make energy about, out of these materials. And this would be a very, this is a, a very simple story. This is a story. Everyone understands this story. And if the government tells this, uh, tells this story and make maybe some rules who, for, for that the story comes more in the, is, I think this is a, could, could be very easy. Yes, we have to do better communication and we have also to, to force the research. research. But really, really important research. There is, there is a lot of research, but we have to concentrate. It makes no sense that in Germany, in Austria, in Switzerland, in Estonia, we ask the same, the, the, the same questions. If they are solved in Germany, why not? They are solved in, in other, other countries. This is a bit the problem we have. We have a lot of research, but it's not, not organized. Norway, is, in Norway they, they have the same questions as in Finland, and they have the same uh, research projects, but maybe it's, it would be a chance to, to concentrate it a bit better. I think that the way must be for 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 the wood, for building with wood, that everyone understands. Wood can't be the cheapest, but it's with the same price, it's the better, mm. the better the better product. Of course, but we have to work on that because it's not so, not so, because wood is, you know, if your wood has water and moisture, it uh, is to, will be destroyed. We have to, to, therefore, we have to construct very, very carefully for durability of, of the wood. And we have to prove that wooden buildings ha has the same uh, life, the same lifespan than than other materials, other, and, or, and they does not cost more in, 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 in for, for innovation and so on. We have to prove the quality. But what, we, but what, we, what the message must be, it's for living in, in wooden buildings is healthier, is better, you have a better surrounding, you have cozy room, and this is the better quality than other materials. If we can't do that, if we don't do that, we will lose this battle, I think. Can you say you'll have a happier life living in a wooden oh, building? I don't know. <laughs> this depends, on, <laughs> this depends on, on so many things. <laughs> yeah. I think this is too, too, too far away. Too far away. Yeah.